Yeah, so emotional leadership to me. Emotional leadership. Emotional leadership. Means to me that you can bring your whole self to work. Understanding my people. You can be who you are when you exercise leadership. You're not trying to separate yourself out and to this person who is here and that is when I am a leader and exercising leader and this is where I am when I'm not. You are who you are in every time and it's much better to be able to play to your strengths that way than to try and hide it. The best way to understand my people is to understand where they are emotionally. Of course you can't see emotions. What we see are the effects of emotions. You need to be ready with the tool set that you need in order to be able to help them through those things. Or, you know, some of those emotions might be positive. And therefore, um, what have I got to offer this person today in the way of a development opportunity? Or where am I going to stretch them? Because it's not always about bad stuff, of course. A lot of the time it is about good stuff. So to me, emotional leadership is about awareness of the importance of emotions that it has for both individuals and the collective impact that that will have on our team. How do I then be use that awareness to be able to ensure that we are positively shaping the culture of our team um, with emotions being a core part of that dynamic. It also means that you allow the space for other people to bring their whole selves to work. So that, it's, that no feeling is wrong, is bad, that your feelings matter and that through harnessing those, you can put really great plans together that are authentic, that are genuine, sincere, that have passion, and that are a little bit different from a black and white, traditional, backward looking environment, that this is really about working together um, and putting your whole self into your work and your life. There is no one way to exercise leadership. So emotion is, 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 I believe, is critical because then you know who, you, who you're dealing with and who you're working with and you get to build that relationship with that person based on who they are, not on who you are, but on who they are.